The topic of this video is finding the domain of a composite function. Let's look at a problem. Given f of x equals x squared and g of x equals x squared plus 6, find the domain of f composed with g. All right, so f composed with g in this problem is the same as f composed with g of x. Rewriting using the definition, we get f of g of x. And because the item inside the innermost parentheses is a variable, we work from the outside in. That means we're going to use the right-hand side of function f as our next line of algebra. But instead of x, we'll put g of x. So we're going to have g of x squared. g of x, of course, is equal to x squared plus 6. So then we get x squared plus 6, all in parentheses, squared. This is the first line of algebra we've written that does not contain the names of our functions f and g, f and g, f and g, g. This is the first line of algebra that does not have those names. Therefore, this is the moment where we stop and determine our domain using the four steps learned earlier in the semester. All right, let's proceed. So we have x squared plus 6, all in parentheses squared. Step one, start with all real numbers. Step two, even radicands greater than or equal to zero. We don't have any. Step three, log arguments greater than zero. We don't have any. So steps two and three are not applicable. Step four, denominators not equal to zero. We don't have any. So since we started with all real numbers and we didn't remove any numbers, our domain is all real numbers. As an interval, this would be from negative infinity to infinity. As a set, we would say the set of all x such that x is real, and then there would be no restrictions, therefore indicating all real numbers.